Hello everyone. Welcome to hands-on medical coding tutorial, session 23, HCC coding. As you may know, there are a lot of jobs in HCC coding field. So as a coder, you don't want to miss out this uh, hot topic. There are quite a few uh, HCC uh, coding videos on YouTube, but after watching them, I still don't know what HCC coding is, so I decided to do this session specially on HCC coding. First, a summary of the uh, session 23. So I will talk about what is HCC, what is the process of uh, HCC coding. I will give you some examples on HCC, and also I will talk about how to map an ICD-10 CM code to HCC code. And then I will talk about the MEET principle for documentation. Finally, uh, I will talk about the, uh, you know, how to get the, uh, learn the skills as a coder for HCC so that you can get a job uh, in HCC coding. HCC stands for hierarch hierarchical condition categories. HCC are a methodology first used by the CMS to help predict cost for treating Medicare Advantage patients in inpatient, outpatient settings. So patient demographics and HCC codes are used to determine risk adjust and adjustment and how much money will be allocated to a healthcare plan for future patient treatment. So HCC shifts the payment model from fee-for-service to value-based reimbursement model. So in this sense, HCC is similar to DRG. So DRG is used to control the uh, medical cost for the inpatient. But H HCC here is for all patient and inpatient. So, so what is the process for coding HCC? So first, the physicians has to uh, do a clinical uh, documentation after the patient visit. So there's a principle for how to document uh, for, especially for HCC. So I will talk to, about this uh, meet principle later in this uh, session. So then after you get the documentation, the coder has to uh, code diagnosis code. So it has to capture all the chronic, uh, chronic conditions and also be aware the history of if the condition is not resolved, so probably not, you, you shouldn't uh, code history off. So we'll talk about why. And then uh, with the diagnosis code, we can use software to get the HCC code. It's a simple mapping. So usually there's software to do this uh, job. And using the S HCC code and the age, gender, Medicaid, eligibility, etc. We can come up with a risk score. And then from the risk score, we can determine the uh, amount of money, which is uh, per month per member. So here is an example for HCC coding. So this is a female patient aged 75. And from those two factors, we can have a one uh, risk score there. And then from the patient condition, we can also have some HCC code here. See, for example, one here is code uh, condition is not coded to the highest specificity. So here we have uh, diabetes without uh, complication, which is E11.9. And then the code for that condition is 19, the HCC code and the risk score is 0 0.1. But here, if you code more specific, diabetes with chronic complication here, and then you will have E08.21. So the HCC code for that condition is 18, which have a little bit higher score here, 0 0.318, instead of 0 0.104. Similarly, you have I20.1, which is code, uh, has HCC code for 88. 
And then here, if you code acute myocardial infarction, that's code I21.4. Also, this code mapped to uh, HCC86, which has higher risk score than uh, I21.1 here. Finally, the congestive heart failure, which has doesn't change here, is code uh, HCC code is 85. So we total the score here for the first example here. The uh, total score is 1.169, and then if you code more uh, specifically, more specific code, then you have a higher score 1.476, and then you use this risk score, you times the uh, base amount is two thousand dollars for example so for example one here you get uh, two thousand three hundred three thirty eight and for second case here if you code more specific codes you get uh, twenty nine hundred and fifty two dollars which higher amount for the patient so this is the amount for the this patient here for the uh, uh, per month so the key factors for HCC code is the you have to have accurate documentations. So this need effort from the physician and also uh, from the CDI specialist. So we will talk about the uh, principle for uh, of a meat principle for a, a, a documentation. And then the second key factor is to have correct and complete diagnosis code. So in this case, the coder plays a really important role here in SCC coding. You have to know uh, how to map ICD-10 CM code to HCC code. And also you have to be familiar with the uh, HCC code set and also the uh, risk factors associated with HCC code. So the first key factor is the meet principle for documentation. So you cannot just simply list symptoms, signs, diseases in the patient documentation. Actually, you have to meet uh, the meet condition here. Meet M is for monitor. You monitor the signs, symptoms, disease progressions, disease regressions. And also you have to evaluate uh, the test results, medication effectiveness, response to treatment. And A is for assessment. You order the test or discussion with uh, other doctors, review records, and the counseling. So the last one, T, is for uh, treatment. So what kind of medic medication for the patient and the th therapies and the other modalities. So you have to keep in mind MEAT principle when you do the documentation. So after documentation, you have to code this uh, documentation into ICD-10 CM code, and then you have to map the CM code to the uh, HCC code. So of the total of about, as you know, we have around 70,000 of uh, ICD-10 CM codes. So only one tenth of them, uh, one seventh of them will map to the 79 HCC code category. So not all codes can be mapped to HCC. So only 10,000 codes is relevant to HCC coding. So I would suggest to uh, download the HCC, uh, HCC coding map uh, from the website here. So I will just show you how to get the um, mapping file. So you just go to medicalcodecenter.com here. You go to resource and go to download files here. And then you can click this 2020 ICD-10CM to HCC mapping file here. So you can just open this file here. So in this mapping file, the first column you have the diagnosis code. This is ICD-10CM code here. And then you have the description for the code. And then you have the uh, HCC code for this. For example, 80103 is mapped to uh, HCC code 115. So 
there's a, around 10,000 of the uh, ICD-10 CM codes can be mapped to the uh, HCC code. So let's go back to the slide. So as a coder, we have to be uh, first get familiar with HCC code set. So there's total 27, uh, 79 codes for them. And also get familiar with the mapping as we showed you before, how to map ICD-10 CM code to HCC code. So in order to prepare yourself for HCC coding, you just need to download those two files from the uh, website medicalcodecenter.com. So let's, let me show you again the uh, do the download. So one file will just show you the mapping. The other file is will list all the uh, HCC code here. So let's just open that here on table three here. So this table three lists all the HCC code and the description for the code here and also the uh, risk factors for this for each HCC code here so as a coder you have to familiar with those uh, 79 HCC codes and most importantly you have to be familiar with uh, the the mapping file here so this mapping file here because not all, not every ICD-10 CM codes can be mapped to HCC code. So you have to know which one has a valid uh, HCC code. So I think uh, this will help you uh, to get ready for HCC coding. Thank you very much for watching this session. Thank you.